recently you experienced a heartbreaking tragedy. You I did. Your grandson, Chris. Yes. yes. Young age of 32. Yep. You, a few months ago, so it's very recent. How are Thanks. you and your family coping right now? Well, it's it's an uh, incredibly bad uh, loss. It's a uh, it was the, the, the worst minute. I've had a lot of minutes in my life, but the worst minute in my life was uh, on um, March, uh, February 9th at 1.32 a.m. when my daughter is calling me. She's saying six words that broke my heart. She said, he didn't make it. He's dead. And that was Chris and, and my grandson. And you met my grandson. You went to the... Uh, you attended Tony Robbins with my grandson and my granddaughter. And uh, the granddaughter just gave birth to my second great granddaughter uh, this past week. Um, but yeah, the, the loss of uh, a close family member, my grandson in this case, uh, is devastating. I mean, absolutely, absolutely devastating. I was inconsolable. I really was. And, uh, but, you have to, we, we have to move on. We just have to uh, assimilate it into our being um, and, and move on. Mm-hmm. And then a couple of weeks later, I have a, uh, a great, a great grand, another great granddaughter born, you know, so it's the cycle of life. Yeah. And, and your daughter, Cindy is doing okay. Yeah. She's now with, uh, with, with her daughter, my granddaughter, and she was there for the birth of her grand grandchild. So yeah, she's she's living in. We have a home in Mexico, and so she's at she's at our home in Mexico with my granddaughter and the great granddaughter, and and she was there for the birth. She went down to stay with her for the birth of the child, and now she'll probably stay there another two or three weeks, and then come on back. Yeah, but so you know, it's um, it's devastating, and and. I I was devastated for you, with you. I think losing somebody, you know, in this business, we deal with a lot of tragedy with our clients all the time. So we're sort of on the outside in some ways, but then we do get pulled in and we try to, you know, be their advocate and and help in any way we can. You as an attorney, me as a a consultant, settlement specialist. So it's different when it's your family member and it hits home so close realize nobody's immune to, you know, to loss and death and tragedy. It's uh, it's, it's very difficult. I think it makes you want to pause and, and, you know, reset or recalibrate and how are you recalibrating and how are you trying to uh, move on from this? Well, it's, you just have to accept the fact. I mean, this is God's plan for some reason. Uh, wasn't my, wasn't my plan, but uh, God didn't ask me about it. So uh, I just have to accept what is. And uh, <laughs> my way of dealing with it is I, I remember all the good things about him. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember when I took him fishing up in the uh, up in Canada, just south of the uh, Arctic Circle, mm-hmm. and we went fishing on a six-day fishing trip, uh, where we caught brown trout that uh, weighed twenty-five, thirty pounds, mm-hmm. and I thought he was going to jump out of the boat. It was just such a it was such a thrill. He was only nine years old, and um, he was used to catching these little things like this at Lake Travis. And uh, I wait and let him catch the first one and because I, I wanted to see it. <laughs> he had no idea. And he pulled the first one in. And he was struggling with it and pulled it in. And it was about a 19-pound brown trout, the first one. He was like, uh, he couldn't believe it. He could not believe his eyes. So then he couldn't wait to get the line back in the water to catch the next one. But I, when I think of Chris, I, I think of things like that. I think of the things we did together. And uh, the uh, the things we uh, the the joy we had together and uh, the memories that we made together and I, I I hold those near and dear to my heart. 